Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Uh, this is video update number two from Immersion, a language play. Okay, so let me give you an update on where we're at right now. So this is kind of an interesting part of the process because we've got our whole team together and our marketing push has started and the actors are learning their lines, um, but we haven't started actually rehearsing yet. Um, we're, we're actually kind of like in three different places. So Sandy Doria, who's directing the play, is in New York City. And then I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. And then Rodrigo Del Rio, who is playing Domingo in the play, is in Mexico City. And we're going to him for 10 days in June before we take the play to New York City. So we're all over the place. And it's kind of, this has been a really wonderful example of what it means to make theater, to make art um, in a time, in, in a setting where um, you're all over the place. It's like, how do you do an international collaboration? You use the internet. Like you use the internet 100% of the time, basically. So tonight is a really special night because it's the first time that Rodrigo and I are going to read through the script. We've never read through the script before. We've only kind of talked about it um, and kind of made plans for just how we're going to pull this whole thing off. Um, so this is like a big deal. And I'm actually really nervous about it because um, I think that reading through this script with Rodrigo is going to kind of force me to confront as a playwright and then also as one of the performers just how beginner <laughs> my Spanish speaking skills are and just how like just how limited I am because there's always this point with with language learning uh, where you kind of run out of tools like you run out of experience or you run out of vocabulary and you get to a point where oh my gosh I don't know how to communicate this thing that I really want to communicate um, and that is good like that's that's a reality of the conflict within this play that we are producing so it's that's a good thing like it's good even for it's good for me as the playwright and as the actor as one of the actors to to experience that and to confront that and to feel that so where am I right now this is actually my back porch in st. Louis Missouri my terrace as I like to call it and I wanted to film this video diary out here for two reasons one is that it's beautiful outside. I'm tired of sitting inside. I've been inside all day with meetings at my university and I would much rather be outside in this beautiful 80 degree late spring early summer weather. And the other reason is because the play Immersion is actually set in a Midwestern city. And what's neat about St. Louis is that it absolutely looks and feels like a Midwestern city because of just how like red brick the whole city is like even like this is my apartment building and it's just so red brick and then everywhere with the houses around me you can see through the alley are all just these deep red brick houses and the play is set in a midwestern city in part because I wanted the audience to sort of initially assume that the white American English speaking woman in this Midwestern apartment space is going to be the one who has kind of the power at the beginning of the play and and then and then to kind of throw a wrench in it as the play goes on. Um, so you would think that because like this is her this is her world. She's this Midwesterner and she is an American. She speaks English and so she has the power. But then in the play, I tried really hard to make Spanish the language of power. So what does that mean for Spanish to be the language of power? I think what it means is if you are an audience member who either only speaks Spanish or primarily speaks Spanish and then also speaks a little bit of English, when you watch the play, you are the one who gets first insight into 
the secrets. And if you're truly bilingual, you speak, you're fluent in both English and Spanish, then you get all the secrets for the whole play. Whereas if you only speak English, you're gonna be appropriately disoriented for the majority of the play and then you'll kind of understand what's happening by the end of it. And I think by doing that, by giving the Spanish speakers sort of the key to the secrets, then, then they, they get to sort of take some of that power back. And I think that this is important because as, you know, as an English speaker who grew up in America and grew up in the United States public school system, I've been around Spanish. I've been learning Spanish for my entire life. I can remember learning Spanish in preschool when there was like a mother who was bilingual who would come to class and she would do like these mini fun Spanish Spanish lessons that she teach us, teach us a bunch of songs and um, and like that was part of preschool and then all through school like all the way up from from first grade until until twelfth grade I was in Spanish class um, the number one phrase that I feel like I learned um, in Spanish class in high school was from Senora Fernandez from Puerto Rico, who, for one thing, like she called me corny, corny. Um, apaga la luz, señorita corny. Apaga la luz because I always sat by the light switch. Like apaga la luz, señorita corny. Like that was like the near. That was like my Spanish. <laughs> that's like the Spanish that I will never ever forget. Apaga la luz, apaga la luz, señorita corny. Um, but I think because of that, because I've grown up around Spanish. I feel so much shame and embarrassment about the fact that I really don't know that much. Um, I did the hard work of translating the English into Spanish for writing this play. Um, I did that grunt work because I felt like I needed to do sort of like an act of penance by, by doing that myself and then getting it checked by a native speaker. Um, but I feel a lot of shame and embarrassment that I don't know more Spanish than I should. Okay. All right. I'm sorry there are no page numbers. Uh, page numbers give me writing anxiety. They make me nervous when I write, so I don't like them. Um, because I care too much. Okay. Scene one. <laughs> 